What's up, everybody? What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another Community Spotlight with uh, Charlie and Jameson, two Fathom real estate agents out here just trying to show off the state a little bit. We are, and today we are in uh, the wonderful windy city of Chicago. <laughs> I'm sorry, Castle Rock, Colorado. Castle Rock. Uh, fun fact, we're at 6,500 feet. Mm -hmm. So we are above that whole mile high perspective. We're, yes. we're above, we're more mile high. More, more than a mile high yeah. perspective yeah. right now. Yeah, I'm, that's right. I mean, I've lived here for eight years and it's just windy all the time. It's beautiful. Yes, it's windy. It is windy. It's windy all the time. But it makes sense. You got yes. the you got the front range right here. You got Pikes Peak down south. All the wind is just coming yeah. down. We're on the Palmer Divide and we're in Castle Rock. I don't know how this town got its name. I'm not sure. I think I, at some point in the video, we might give you guys a hint. There may be a rock. There may be a rock that's Maybe in the rock. shape of, yeah. of a castle. A little bit. I don't know. A yeah. little bit. Anyway, fun fact, the most populous town in Colorado, as of 2021, 76,000, about 400 people. We have a master plan here. And I keep saying we, I live here in Castle yeah. Rock. He, I've been he, here for eight pretty years. Pretty much the mayor. I love it. Yeah, I had, I'd love to be the mayor. Uh, we have a master plan of only allowing about 130,000 people to actually live in the town wow. of Castle Rock. Okay. So they want to keep it, you know, that's kind of small town feel, but still have the amenities and the tax dollars to come in and continue to expand the town. Um, but yeah, man, it's 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 like a small town feel. You come down off I twenty five past Castle Pines, and it's just breathtaking. Yeah. Like it's it's one of my favorite views. And we're down here right now in downtown Castle Rock. And what we want to do on this episode is just kind of take you down and show you around downtown Castle Rock yep. a little bit. Yeah, help you just enjoy it. Show off some places that we enjoy. Yep. Right now we're at Festival Park, so it's empty currently. But on the weekends, you can find farmers markets, festivals, live music, kids games. Uh, you get food trucks that get lined up all the way down this uh, area here. There's a we, bike trail that goes there's through a bike, it. Yep, the, the Plum mm -hmm. Creek Trail. Mm -hmm. That's a fun fact. There was a historic flood here back in the 1960s, I think 1961. It's crazy. Uh, that was actually came the up level like, of yeah, where we were at. Yeah, so. it's like our knees. Yeah, but we want to kind of take you guys through, you know, just a day in downtown Castle Rock and show you things to do, places to eat, and uh, things to see. Things to see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But so stick along with us. We'll, we'll take you. We'll see you here in a minute. Yeah. We're going to do some post-production magic, and then we'll be on the move. Boom. Let's get it. See you guys. What's up, everybody? How, how do we get here? Post-production magic, baby. Wow. I love it. I love it. <laughs> This is amazing. Right? Right? Well, welcome back, guys. We are now at Block and Bottle. Yes, sir. And Jameson, what, what, why do we take him here? What's up? Man, it's one of my favorite restaurants here in downtown Castle Rock. We wanted to showcase a little bit of downtown Castle Rock, what you guys can do on a day here. Um, it's a newer restaurant. It's American Fair, but it's got some craft cocktails. Very, very unique menu. I mean, I'm looking at it now, and you can get anything from a house-braised lamb shank all the way to the ultimate grilled cheese. They've got Colorado hot chicken, which mm -hmm. is similar to Nashville hot chicken. And then I think I saw on there, what was it, a, uh, a pastrami? Oh, dude, they got a pastrami yeah. Reuben or something? Yep, pastrami Swiss burger. Swiss burger. Mm -hmm. uh, Southern pot roast is fantastic here. Okay. And they got a really good happy hour. So uh, right yeah. now we're actually in happy hour. What time is it? Four o'clock. Mm -hmm. So half price uh, cocktails, half price wells, wells or calls. Wait, you're telling me half, half price, price. All, all cocktails? Half, all, all cocktails. All right, I might have to, and, uh, might have to join you there. You know, we got some happy hour. Um, $5 off charcuterie board, mussels and chorizo. Nice. Uh, oh, and nice. I just saw this uh, for the ladies out there. Half price bottles of wine every Thursday. Boom. Yep. So Boom. block and bottle, guys. If you're down here in Castle Rock, you want something fun to do. They got a great patio. It's a little stormy out today, but yeah. still nice. Uh, they'll rock the heaters and the fire pits during the yeah, summer. They're on right now. Like you it. Yeah. So I mean, it's a great place. If you guys got a chance, check this place out. It's awesome. Yeah. But one of the things I like about Castle Rock, man, it's that Big city, but small town feel. Absolutely. Absolutely. It just draws me to it every time. And as it, we talked about earlier, how it's 76,000 people and growing, right? Mm -hmm. And you definitely feel that because there's a, such a range of different businesses and there things is. that you can do around, right? As you're walking down the street, Main Street, Castle Rock, you're going to hit things like coffee shops, like a Colorado Health Boutique. Yep. We just went by uh, a deli. Yep. That super cool guys. Had, the handles are deli knives. Yeah, like, they're just to get knives. into the store. <laughs> but it's a it's a mom and pop deli store. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another place. We'll try and get some footage up for you guys. But Salt Meat Market. Mm -hmm. uh, you know me and my meats and, and smoking meats. It's yeah. one of my favorite things. Again, family owned, um, union, uh, which is mm -hmm. American Bistro. It's actually right behind us on the other side of the street. Yep. They do half price bottles of wine every single Wednesday. 
And uh, like I said, Block and Bottle does them every Thursday. So yeah. you can get your wine drink like on. like wine, come down <laughs> to downtown days Denver, back right? to back, right? <laughs> Wednesdays hit up Union. And then Thursdays, you come across the street, hit up Block and Bottle. So That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and order some stuff, and we'll get back to you guys whenever we, it gets here. Yep. Sounds good. Awesome. What's up, everybody? <laughs> we're back. <laughs> uh, we're still at Block and Bottle. Yep. yep. This is not a paid advertisement for this place. No. But... Oh my God! These all right. So tell me, Jameson, what 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 is, what is this? So we ordered. Well, we got a couple things going on. We always want to give you guys a good cocktail, right? Mm -hmm. So we do got two different old fashions. Mm -hmm. You got the black old fashioned. Black old fashioned. Which they use old Forester. Old Forester. Honey. Yep. Orange bitters, lemon zest, and orange zest. And then I got the basil old fashioned, which mm -hmm. is new. I haven't had an old fashioned mixed with basil. No. But the one thing I was excited about this is Eighty Laws Rye mm -hmm. with basil and bitters. Smart. That's a smart um, way to go. So, I mean, we're going to take a sip yeah, right now cheers. just for you guys. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. And then, obviously, the tour de force, uh, smoked salmon pastrami crostinis. It's an appetizer. Um, the I, color on it looks great. <laughs> uh, you, you talk. I'm going to take <laughs> yeah. it. Go, go for it. Well, guys, what we kind of want to talk about now is just highlight some more of the things that are around Castle Rock. Mm. Oh, Jameson so just passed out. No, so good. <laughs> Take it away. Right. So when you come down to Castle Rock, you actually have two different breweries right in town that you can visit and walk around. The first one is going to be called the Iron Mule. And they do obviously craft beers. But what's really cool about inside there is as you're sitting down, you can see all of the, the vats in the yes. back. And it's kind of on. an old school feel. So they have a dartboard yeah. area. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit off the main drag. Yep. So you have to search for it. But I encourage you guys to go. They've mm -hmm. got some really good seasonal rotations probably one of the more expansive beer lists in Castle Rock because we got like Charlie said a couple different breweries but these guys are a mom and pop shop mm -hmm. uh they've also got this food truck that comes by that does birria tacos that I've had before nice almost as I mean these these are so good no, if fantastic. you guys are a block and bottle get this I'm telling yeah. you this, this is fantastic <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and other than Iron Mule uh, if you actually go just straight down the block from the front door of that place yep. you run into Wild Blue Yonder and I mean, honestly, the name speaks for itself, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it was uh, it was opened by um, a couple of um, Air Force cadets or Air Force uh, lieutenants, and they have they're on the kind of the lighter side of the beer, so they got some hazy IPAs, citrus IPAs. They got about ten to fifteen beers on tap. More of a food based um, brewery as well. Yeah. But what's cool is they've got a really cool outdoor patio, and they've got a green uh, kind of a green belt area with like astroturf down with a bunch of picnic tables. Yep. Take the kids out there. They've got a separate space, separate building if you want to do events with mm -hmm. larger parties. Uh, really cool vibe right off of Wilcox Street. Almost one of the first Castle things Rock. you hit coming yep. into downtown Yes, yeah, It's fantastic. So you get the breweries. Mm -hmm. We talked about a couple of the restaurants, right? Yeah. Obviously, Block and Bottle were here now, mm -hmm. Union behind us. But there was two others that we, yeah. uh, that we took so, a look at. And they're actually right across from each other. If you're sitting in one, you can look at it. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be Great Divide. And they're, they're known around Colorado. Um, but the fact that they have a home here in Castle Rock, the inside, the atmosphere is great. The bar is right smack dab in the middle of the of the restaurant. It is. And so you can sit around or you can have regular dining and sit around the outside. Two secrets of Great Divide. So obviously we're here, everybody's heard of Great Divide Brewery. Mm -hmm. This is a brewery and roadhouse. So this is full menu, full food. They have an award-winning chef that has constructed that menu. Two things. Number one, their brunch. Bottomless mimosas on Saturday and Sunday. One of the best brunches ever. If you get them, short rib, eggs, Benedict. Okay. And then if you have lunch or dinner there, stick with the short rib, but they have short rib enchiladas that are incredible. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Incredible. And I mean, that's that's just dinner, right? Yep. But like we said, right across right across the, I guess you could say the river, the mm -hmm. creek, right across the creek from it is, what, uh, excuse me, what, what was it again? Tribe? Tribe. 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 And they, they're a smaller, a smaller little place, but you get lunch, brunch, you can do coffee there. Um, walking in, it's a real, it's a real intimate feeling. It is kind of close. Gives you coffee shop vibes, but with just a little bit more to offer than just regular coffee shop food. They do, and it's got two cool things about them as well, right? They've got a high-end uh, whiskey, which hey, that's for us, mm -hmm. right? High-end whiskey selection, including Blanton's, Eagle Rare, E. H. Taylor, uh, relatively reasonably priced, I would say. Okay. And it's more of a, it's an American fare, but with kind of a Native American twist. So they've got a very unique menu. I'd encourage you guys to look up the menu before you go there because some people it might turn some people off. Yeah, I like it. I think and it's we'll, super unique. We'll put all the links uh, down. Yeah, we'll in the put description the links below. You guys. The other thing they do though that's super cool is you can actually purchase a dinner 
made by the chef where you actually sit up at the kitchen and watch him make specific plates of food for you. Yeah. It makes a great date night. Well, Super I mean, cool. just it goes it goes to show again. We talked about, you know, Castle Rock and how it's growing, but also what you find in places when they grow like this is they tend to lose their bit of culture, right? Is they get overrun by breweries mm -hmm. and now you just have kids out drinking and, and you know partying in the streets. But what's awesome about Castle Rock is you can have all this food experience and all these great things. Yep. And then right at the end of the street, they just spent what mil millions, millions of dollars, millions, millions of dollars, dollars to build the new Castle Rock Library. Yep. And I'll tell you what, it is beautiful. Like from the outside, they did that rustic panel. Oh, no, it's so cool. Right? It, it looks so cool. awesome. For looking from the outside, you wouldn't know that how good and modern it looks on the inside. So I took my daughter there. Uh, actually, I didn't take her there. My grand, my my parents, her grandparents took her there when it grand opened, right? Uh -huh. And my daughter's four, four and a half. She didn't really know what a library was. Shame on me as a dad. I get it, but we don't <laughs> have one around here, okay? But she came out and she was so excited to tell me about this library. And what's cool about it is, yes, it's a library, but it has conference rooms that you can rent out for mm -hmm. events. It actually has an indoor play place yeah. with toys for kids. Mm -hmm. And she was thrilled that she could come to the library, she could check out books, and she goes, Dad, I can check them out. And then when I'm done with them, I bring them back and they give me more books. But they also have toys. There's a uh, event that they're doing, I believe it's next week, oh, where yeah. it's super cool, right? So you can have your kid bring their favorite stuffed animal. In Kieran's case, it's uh, Jamar. He's a, a giraffe that we got at, okay. uh, okay. at the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And you drop them off. They have little activities there. And then overnight, the staff will take pictures of what the stuffed animals are doing. And they will then, e you pick them up in the morning, the next morning, and then they'll email you a slideshow it's like, of all the cool, it's like a, like it's a, like a, like it's an elf, elf well, on a shelf, yeah. well, not but only more that, active. It's, it's almost like, um, oh man, what am I thinking of? It's like Night at the Museum yes. meets Toy Story. Yes. Right? <laughs> so your kids will get this email package of the, all the cool things that their stuffed animal did at the Douglas County Library here down in downtown Castle Rock. So That's awesome. It's sweet, man. Like, hopefully we're conveying to you guys that yeah. Castle Rock has something for everything mm -hmm. and we've only covered downtown so far yes right and from downtown mm -hmm. you've got if you're a, a beer head mm -hmm. you got breweries if you're a foodie i, I don't mean, even look have to say anything else for this <laughs> right uh if you're a cocktail connoisseur mm -hmm. right old fashions um and then from a family standpoint you've got the library and that's all on and one the street that and the park, the walkway. It's on one street. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, it's a great, it's a great place to be. It's a great place to live. I've lived here again for eight years. Charlie comes down here every week for our podcast, mm -hmm. and he's been down here multiple times. It is a phenomenal place. Yep. And you know, if you guys are in the area and you want to reach out to us and you know, grab a drink or have us take you around, we love to do it. Yeah, uh, we, we love our town. It's fantastic. Absolutely, absolutely. And and Jameson said it, hit the nail right on the head. We're here to give you the information and you know help you explore without having to be here. So. Yep. Stay tuned on the channel because we're going to cover not only food and drink, but we're going to do hikes. We're going to do different um, different activities and things that you can do around because we want to show you guys every aspect of what Colorado has to offer. Yep. Whether it's drinks, whether it's boutiques and clothes, we're here to show it to you. Yep. Agreed. Awesome. Yeah, man. So appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, you can find us. You're already here on the channel. Living in Colorado, the mile high perspective. Like and subscribe, guys. Let us know what areas of Colorado are. Even if you guys want to know, we were talking about it earlier, right? We just want to know the best sandwich shops yep. in a certain area. Let us know what area. We'll go mm -hmm. take a look. We'll test taste for them. I, yep. We have no problem doing I'll that. I'll film it for you. I'll film it. Yeah, exactly. We'll talk <laughs> about it. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour. kind of taste of Castle Rock and what it has to offer. And tune in next time. We have plenty of more of these coming up. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you guys want. Like and subscribe. Share us with us in the comments what you think. And uh you know, see you guys next time. Catch you later. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Peace.